I am a menagerie of conflict. I am a person who has lived most of my life not just refusing to act on my desires, but refusing to admit that I had any substantive desires in the first place. And at the same time, I am a person who desired everything, and who had no hesitation in doing whatever it took to get it, even if it meant hurting people she cared about, even if it meant killing them. Put those people together, you get June. You get me. Ever since I made that deal with Typhius, I could feel something was off. Even after we won, that feeling stuck around. Do you ever find yourself thinking that... That you don't remember what it's like to be human? Power is a lot more than who you can hurt and how much. I know that's gotta be hard to believe coming from me, but you'll just have to trust that I know what I'm talking about. Come on, John. Haven't you been afraid enough? Being alive doesn't matter if all you do is hide in your room and wait. I'll never figure out who I am if I don't reach for who I want to be. I'm intimidated by how angry and powerful I am, but also, it's better than almost any feeling I've ever known. Space is the aspect of loneliness, and that's just out of my control. So why can't I just be okay with that? Why can't I just be happy for you? Why am I so mad at you for... for not being alone anymore? I'm thinking back on the plan we made, and I don't remember June throws a hissy fit outside Rose's house being on the list. Get it together, June. We have to be incredibly careful. Interesting. You seem markedly different from the last time we spoke. June, huh? I like the sound of that. Sounds like the name of someone that a complacent man might easily underestimate. I will be watching you, June Egbert. Very closely. Oh, fuck. Oh, that is bad. What the fuck was I doing last night? So, are you pleased with yourself 